Welcome to Discover Talent Presents. I am your host Vinod. In this series, we will be covering topic called Peer Table. Before we begin Peer Table, we are keeping this expectation set, right? This Peer Table, we are starting at a very beginner to advanced level, right? Um, and how Excel works basically. If in case you are a new role into the data analyst, that we are covering a basic navigation first, and then we are you know kicking off for a Peer Table function. Okay, and we are also covering this topic called analyze data. How it works? This is the machine learning and AI driven Microsoft Office 365 offered a functionality for us. Okay, let's get started with the pure table function. Cool. So welcome to the screen. I have this data plotted over here, which is a random data set. I do have in sheet two. And here, if you could see, this is called a ribbon. Usually, your cursor would be at this particular scale, which is home ribbon tab, right? This is your ribbons where you can do a basic editing, changing a font size, color, alignment, right? Those kind of stuff you can do it from here. And then we have this sheets available: sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, okay, consecutively. Right? So you can add the data in the sales. And then we have this status bar over here. We can zoom in, zoom out the screen. Basically, suppose I want to zoom in, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Likewise, this is the vertical scale and the horizontal scale. Basically, right? I have this data now, and uh, as we are kicking off with the pure table, let me just start with that. Simply, any of the data set, whatever data set you have, right? Just keep your cursor any of the cell. And then you can go into Insert Ribbon tab. Here is an option called Pure Table. Just simply click on this option, Pure Table. Here we have a uh, two options, which is New Worksheet and Existing Worksheet. Now we just need a new worksheet, which means it will be automatically adding a new worksheet for our Pure Table, and uh, from there we can start. I just click on this OK. Cool. As soon as I hit a OK, I got this pure table fields added, and if you could see at the top, pure table analyze is ribbon added automatically, right? Earlier it was not there. If I press again over here, if you could see, there's a pure table analyze is automatically off. To turn that on, you just again simply click on this option. You can see this pure table analyze and this design ribbon tab is automatically added. I'll explain you each part. How it works, and uh, only the important part I'll explain in the pure table analyze and the design. Okay, which will help you to design your data to analyze your data in an effective manner. Right. So now, whatever fields we have there at sheet two, which means product type, sales, country, PIN code, email ID, and name. We will similar fashion. We will have over here product type and so on so forth. Okay, so this is how we have added a pure table. Okay, we have just inserted a pure table. We haven't uh, plot a data over here. Cool. Now here, if you could see, there is a setting gear button, right? That which is called tools. You can click over here. Now the changes, if you could see, right? Filters are here. Columns at the right hand side top, bottom right hand side is value, left hand side bottom it's rows. Right. I want to change that navigation to see the fields. What type of fields I have available? Because right now we only have this random data sets, correct? Which is uh, almost seven count, right? Seven count. So that's the reason we have this less data available over here, and which we can easily scroll it down, right? However, when you have a larger data set, that time you won't be able to see this data, right? It it getting a height somewhere, right? So that time we can use this option, and then fields section areas section side by side. So now you can see the entire fields and in one go, right? The similar way, which is filter rows, columns, values, which we have at the right hand side. I don't want this view. I want only field section view. So I Only have this field section view, and then area section two by three. So this is how it looks like, and 
ADS section 1 by 4 so this is it will be cool so I would recommend use this field section and area section side by side which will help you to drag and drop your data set and play around with the data now I have the sales so I'll keep this in a values why I have kept it in a values the reason uh, whenever you have the data set it's in digit right you ensuring that you are adding that into the values section I'll just move ahead over here product I want to add a product over here I just kept it like this first I'll place the data set what I have okay and then accordingly I'll just um, play around with my data set and then country I'll just drag it down over here cool so this is how it looks like for me and then what I want I want name but uh, I'm, I'm happy enough to just check with the first product and country because pure table if you could see it went long and it's longer for me right this is how it is then in this case what I'll do I'll just simply click on this product I'll just keep it inside a country or maybe I just keep it like this so this will give me a view like basketball in Indochinesia we have a 250 cell likewise I want to just check a type cool so it's an Android and then I'll just remove this product from here Android and taging those kind of thing I have just added over here so I just remove this country again and keep it like this so simple calculation over here is if you have a data set uh, which have a maximum entries okay ensure that you are keeping that at filter or maybe it rows if in case you are keeping that in the column section that then your data will be like this okay and it will be increased like this only okay so don't do that instead you know whatever requirement you have basis that you know you just added now I'll just keep it like this okay so this is how this data is looks like for me cool so this is just in a drag and drop situation I have just explained you so far and uh, now if in case suppose I want to check only for a only for a specific pin code right so I just you know drag it down I just copy this and just paste it over here or maybe just simply just drag and drop the I want only pin code related data which is available in this my spreadsheet so I'll just select this I keep it 460 this and this this three pin code only I needed so this is how this data will look like for me cool so this is how you can use a filter function which we similar fashion use in our data okay which means here if we apply a filter what we usually do alt dff right and we apply a filter like suppose I want to apply a anti-aging cool which is in Thailand similar way uh, I want a type over here so I'll just keep it like this I'll just say anti-aging cool so this is how the data is showing for me cool now if you could see here Greece Lee and it's showing row level which means suppose I'll just select a select all and here this headers which means row levels right but here if you could see it's a name it's mentioned name but it's saying row labels to change that right we have this beautiful option called pure table analyze and then here itself we can play with the data sets okay just changing a name convention okay so first I'll change the pure table name so I just say my sales data I just change the name of my sales data now in design section if I move ahead I want to change this row labels simply I just click over here and then in report layout I'll just select a show in outline form now if you could see 
the rows whatever we have added name name is automatically added over here why because we have changed the entire structure of it if in case you have a subtotal in it suppose I want to showcase a subtotal okay then we can see that as well email ID as say email ID as well this is how the data is looks for me now I have this subtotal correct I want to remove that subtotal so I'll just simply click on this option do not show that subtotal and then I'll just simply click on this show all subtotal at the bottom of a group so this is how visually appealing subtotal we can see it over here show all subtotal at the top of the group so this is the representation of your data with the help of this design ribbon tab you can play around with it turn off rows and columns okay now I just simply click on this option show this option now show in compact form so this is a compact view for me earlier it was showing a name country and then email ID right now it's in a compact form for me show in tabular form this is the tabular way repeat all items labels so now the data will repeat automatically this automatically has been repeated do not repeat any item labels so it will not repeat any kind of an item which we have added over here in the PO table section remove blank line after each space if in case we have added okay if not then let's add and then if in case now you could see you know it's a good to see it the data right but I don't want that it simply I just go here remove it the blank space has been removed automatically right so this is how you can simply use this option to visualize your data and play around with correct now suppose I want to change a color for this I can just change the styles of this data I want a this table I just keep it like this and you can you know close this pure table fields if in case you want a more space you can simply just close that and do turn that on simply just click over here pure table analyze and then we filled list over here you can just see this option is automatically turn that on great now let me see what else I can cover over here and design ribbon tab again column headers if I don't want I just click on this option you can see this line is there right I just click turn on turn off branded rows this is the design you could see this designing has been changed right row headers these are the headers for me so that's what it's in a uh, harder blue right and it's a lighter blue this is how the row headers works and then we have this pure table analyze once again now suppose you want to showcase this data in a very different manner which is your chart manner right that time what I'll do just simply I'll just remove this email ID I don't want that I don't want a country as well I just want a name and a sales that time I what I'll do I'll just simply click on this option insert okay and then I will click on this recommended chart okay recommended chart is an option it's a machine learning driven option basically it will analyze your data automatically at the back end and it will show you what suitable charts available for your data so this is how it's showing me and I'll just simply click on this line chart and I want a this line chart and click on ok simply I just close this because I want a more space cool and then I'll just click on this option called chart elements what I needed I don't needed a grid lines so if you could see the grid lines is off 
legend i just turn that off legend and then axis i don't want axis as well cool i don't want a chart title simply i did and then i'll just click on this option once again i want a data labels over here cool so which i have did already now this is how you can simply import a chart in your ms excel now in similar fashion for charts as well you can change the name of your chart you can change the design as well okay i just select this i keep it like this cool or otherwise i'll just select this change the color color has been changed now i want to just reduce its size okay so i'll just simply click on this and i've reduced the size i don't want this right click hide all fields button simply this is how it looks like for me and i'll remove this as well click on that and delete it so this is how you can easily insert your line chart now as we have already seen this entire series right how to insert a drag and drop uh, fields basis or requirement now suppose uh, i want to filter it out specific to location suppose i say co color or maybe double door okay or maybe floor fitness tracker so this chart is automatically getting changed if you could see great similar fashion if you want a any other thing you can do that as well and basis that your chart will automatically change so this is the beauty of your pure table and it summarize your data whatever data sets you have available now we are covering this option called analyze data the similar way which we have did a manually the machine learning will automatically calculate our data set okay and it will predict a value for us let me quickly show you how let me just remove this filter first and then in home ribbon tab there is an option called analyze data okay now we are using a office 365 which is a premium version okay uh it's not that you know it's available only for a premium version but if in case you are a office 365 user you will see this option called analyze data you can just simply click on that option basis your questions this will answer your query okay so you just need to ask a question over here okay and this will predict a data for you suppose i just simply click on this option insights for a sales percentage so this is the insights for me suppose i just want it this so i'll just add it this cool for email id so and so type double door accounts is this and this so it's automatically added a pure table it automatically get added a your chart so you don't need to do anything right simply just click there and then import it so very lovely function okay you can do it now i want a percentage total of sales suppose i don't need this queries i just need a uh, how many different name are there i just simply click insert it 32 cool meaning suppose you have this data okay and you have this names available right and you want to identify different names i mean distinct one so you don't need to go run with the pure table run with the any kind of a you know, formula function it's simply machine learning is doing it for you yeah now i want a percentage of total sales so this is a pure table for me now i have this percentage added over here last time we have just seen a sum right now here we can see the percentage and then if it's added already simply click here recommended chart and then you could see this bar chart you can add it over here this is your data available 
which we have used from the analyze data then just you know, turning this on data label and simply just delete it or maybe do it from there that's completely fine okay it's complete your call how you want to do it right click hide all delete again grid line off I don't want this access I don't need it so this is how beautifully represented data for analyzing purpose cool let me just reduce a font size as well for you great so this is how very beautiful function which is analyze data will really help you to predict the value of your data sets it's not really just a specific field so if in case you have a maximum data sets and you want to analyze that you know that you can definitely leverage this data uh, let me just close this all queries I don't want that right I just need a this how it's you know showing me a data and what type of cuts it's showing for me right so here are total 28 results for me so I can just you know, navigate those and basis my requirement I can just simply import it if in case you don't want to ask a question you can just check that what is beneficial for you and you know you simply import into your Excel spreadsheet now suppose I want a okay so I just need a this washing machine product okay noticeably basically it's asking me uh, for email ID so and so right product is noticeably high right so this is the thing suppose randomly you just choose this right and you don't want this color what you can do you simply go design and then you know you just simply change the color basis your requirement cool or maybe what you can do simply just double click on this okay only this is single and just change the color from here itself right and you can change the header basis your requirement and add just a data label simply just do a copy and paste it in your ppt to present to your client stakeholders okay so accordingly you can analyze your data you can create your deck presentation right and basis that you can build the storyline about your product okay it's not just about this particular data set whatever data you have available in ms excel you can just now play around it and simply turn that uh, into a very visual form right and data visualization is a technique for us to present our data and sell to the client cool so this is how a uh, pure table really works right and um, let me just quickly last option show you that as well okay the three options which we have seen the first pure table which is this then we have seen this uh, analyze data right and in ad addition that we have just you know recommended chart we have used for visualizing purpose now the last but not the least which is recommended pure table again it's in a machine learning driven uh, pure table we don't need to go there and you know drag and drop the fields it's in a recommended pure table it's a uh, automatically recommended by office 65 itself and this pure table is showing us product okay and sales okay so suppose you just want a product and sales then simply this is the best fit for you right so you can just simply click here either you can click a new sheet or maybe existing sheet I'll just say existing sheet I want here I just insert it cool so this is how I've imported a data set for me in a pure table form see product and sales right great so this is it for this entire video series folks if in case you have any questions concerns right and uh, queries feel free to drop in below comment section and uh, urge you to join our quiz section right guys uh, alternative days we are posting the questions on our feed right so ensure that you know you are brushing up your knowledge and gain a maximum insight of data analytics field right thanks for watching have a great day ahead